Untreated water can be a major health risk. One of the best things you can do is write a risk management plan. You might decide to install some settling tanks up front to try to remove a lot of the gross contamination. We get most of our water off the roof. Um, so we cut down the branches that were hanging uh, over the lodge to try to stop birds you know, perching on the roof. The reticulation system needs to be designed while keeping in mind the type and availability of source water and the needs of the community for whom the water is being provided. Imagine that a Helminth egg, the width of a human hair, was the size of a cow. A protozoa would be about the size of a sheep, a bacteria would be the size of a cat, and a virus would be the size of a fly. Once your water leaves the treatment plant, you have to keep it clean. You can protect the area where the water is bubbling out of the ground by sealing it in a box if you can. You might get away with just UVing it. Three forms of chlorine are used. Gas, which is supplied in a pressurised container. Calcium hypochlorite, which comes as a granulated powder or tablets. And sodium hypochlorite, which is a liquid. The pores or holes in these straws are so small that even viruses can be filtered out. And of course that means we don't get um, leaves and dirt and, and fish in the, in the water tank. A range of methods to keep the water safe to drink. And it all starts in the catchment area. Walk up through the catchment, go to the little dam they had up there, and here's a rotted carcass of a goat sitting in the pool where they draw their water out. Drinking water. Well we get our water out of the ground and we're surrounded by orchards and dairy farms and stuff. There's a lot of runoff in the groundwater, the chemicals and nitrates and, and there's boron and arsenic as well. What you're looking at is the first known coagulation plant and we still pretty much do the same thing today. You also need to make sure that the lamp's giving out enough light as they can get weaker. The pathogens in the water may not get a big enough dose of UV to be inactivated. Have a look at what others are using. Gather up information and consider it all before you make any decisions. Every community's needs differ, as does the quality of the water source. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm Campylobacter and I'm a pathogen. Hi, hi, hi. 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 And uh, how have you been doing this week? Uh, um, well, it started off okay, but I uh, got on some kid's uh, fingers and then I got into his stomach and then I was in his kind of gut and I, I just couldn't help myself. I just, I started, started multiplying. <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. We're not here to judge. Mm. Tell us what happened. Did you try the exercises? I did, I tried the breathing exercises. <sighs> it didn't really work really. I, well I tried, I tried, and I tried to stop myself from multiplying. I tried it, but I just couldn't. What, what happened? Can you tell me what happened? Okay, well. When I'm in a place that's moist and warm I'm so lonely I could cry Through cellular division I start to multiply 